Hello friends, Houston Shelton. Um, I know there's probably a lot of stuff out there on um, uh, making these type feeders. So uh, this is just a simple way, um, if you have some uh, these parts, or you can pick them up relatively cheap. Uh, but they work great. Um, you don't necessarily have to use a glue or anything on them. But uh, I'll show you what I got. Um, so... Uh, just a piece of uh, four inch pipe um, you know drain line you can pick them up uh, actually I picked that piece I, it was longer but I cut it out of a, a construction dumpster um, you're gonna need a coupling you know to uh, connect because the uh, piece here if you want to add this on the end uh, it's a gutter down spout is it's four inches but it's the same um, size as the pipe so unless you just uh, duct tape it on there you're gonna need uh, the coupling you know to uh, add it on there pretty self-explanatory uh, you know and then just get yourself a cap you know an end cap um, I don't know if that shows up or not but they're all in the uh, plumbing section at a hardware Lowe's Home Depot any of those uh, and it's just a uh, and you can see I, these are all old uh, pieces uh, that have been scavenged uh, you know and uh, a piece of bell and twine um, and I use the bell and twine um, I just kind of lay it over uh, whatever in there and then when you slide the cap up on it uh, it makes the hanger uh, you know the cap holds it in there and then you'll be able to hang it up you know in the tree um, or wherever you want to hang it so I uh, just a little bit of information there. I hope it helps somebody that uh, needs to make one of these feeders, uh, you know, to supplement the bees. All right. Hope it helps. Everybody have a great day. Good health. God bless.